you just put it down beside you. Kelly Peterkin, interview, take one. Can you try it. Kelly Peterkin, interview, you take one. It? Oh, yeah. Kelly Peterkin, interview, take one. <laughs> yeah, that's good. A day in the life of Kelly Peterkin. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. A day in the life of Kelly Peterkin, take one. Good afternoon, Miss Peterkin. I understand that you attended Weeble when you first started out, and you were <clears throat> into the audiovisual department. Could you please tell us a little bit about that? Well, this, I took uh, audiovisual for the two years I was at Weeble. I actually started it in public school. Audiovisual had always interested me to do things like that. And at Weeble, I was on the audiovisual team. And I took some, I was always interested in cameras and electronics and anything mechanical involving music. I took electricity courses at Weevil and mm -hmm. Automotive and yes. majored in music. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's uh, great. Now, I wonder, or I, I understand that you went to Beale after this and uh, took a special course in Beale. And you got into broadcast Beale. It's this closed circuit television that they have in Beale. Now, what did you do there? What were your duties? Well, I got into Broadcast Beale. Broadcast Beale is the only one of two high schools in all of Ontario that offers a broadcasting course. And it's actually just as good as the Fanshawe course. It's very well done, run, run by Mr. Thiel. CHVV FM4 was the radio station. We learned how to cue records, how to make radio commercials and announce them, and do just your basic intros to records. We also had to learn all the aspects of radio and had to traffic our music, which meant some people think, you know, the DJs can play any music that they want. So I understand that you were there for a number of years, too. Uh, did you receive any kind of citation for this, or...? Well, um, I was there two years, and when I graduated, I got the Radio Broadcaster Reader Award. Did we see that? From CFPL Radio 980. Okay, that was 1983-84. Yeah, this is uh, offered by CFPL. I also received at that time, um, this is the Beale letter, and actually everybody in the broadcasting class that year, because we were doing so well, received the school letter to recognize our, our work in broadcast field. I really enjoyed the radio part. I had volunteered for Midday Rock almost every day. That was um, when you got to play whatever you want. It was your free hour at lunch, and it was pumped into the cafeteria. That was my favorite part. I I pretty much volunteered for that whenever I got a chance. So you were pretty popular with the uh, population of, of Beale at that time, or well, did they even know who you were? I, I can't say I really got any feedback, but I enjoyed it anyhow. So I understand you worked for Cable 13 also. Yeah, during my time at Broadcast Beale, I volunteered at Cable 13. I was mainly a camera person there. I, did, I volunteered for any show I could could get. I did their bingo shows. It was pretty boring. The guys used to sit there and, and they'd have such a straight look on their face. And We were always trained by our test field to get the people to smile. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we were, me and my girlfriend get them to smile and stuff. And Tyrone Ferrer had an exercise show. I went on it once. It was pretty funny. And I worked on that. Tricked the people phoning in, eh? They'd phone in expecting to hear what I was saying, you know, Cable 13. We'd say, hello, McDonald's, can I take your order? And they'd be like, uh, I think I got the wrong no number. And then we'd laugh and tell them they got the right number. <laughs> so I understand you got some uh, other awards from those people, too, or, or certificates well, from, from Cable 13. Well, I just got a certificate recognizing that I volunteered there. Oh. My first one, this represents uh, two years of audiovisual in, in uh, public school. And then uh, when I was at Weevil. Yeah, that, that was from public school? This one was from public school. Oh, White yeah. Public school. Oh, here in London. Yeah, right in White Oaks. Did you ever think of per pursuing a professional career in uh, broadcasting or, or the uh, media uh, 
system? Yeah, I did. I did apply for Fanshawe to further my credit. Unfortunately, I was turned down, so I I went to my other goal, got married, and had two children. Hmm. But I think uh, it's a possibility I'd get back into it. After I, after I graduated from Yale, um, well, during the time I was there, I went on contact training a couple times. I went on contact training for CKSL Radio, and there I worked in the newsroom for a week. I also worked in copywriting. I made two commercials for them. Uh, one was just a written commercial that I did. It was, uh, it was a Precision International Canadian Skating Competition in Ilberton, and I also did a Young, Young Drivers of Canada commercial for them. Now I understand you have a uh, 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 intro tape, or what would you call this tape? This oh, this is just my news tape, Your um, news tape that I did at CKSL. You did this at CKSL? No, this didn't go on the air, but I just used the facilities. Well, we'll play this tape right now and okay. see what it sounds like part of this tape. Good morning, I'm Kelly Taylor, Taylor with the news. An undercover FBI agent who played a key role in the John DeLorean case shed new light on the matter. The undercover up originally the eight. I was hired on as a um, an operator, and I worked in the, the main uh, console every Sunday night, and I ran the top 40 with uh, Casey Kasem, and I actually ran two of the, the top hits programs, and uh, they had some other special programming. I'd start, you know, six at night, work till maybe midnight or one in the morning. And I, you know, I just plugged in all the commercials. I was actually the only one. I had to take care of the whole station on my own. I would uh, have to take care of the newsroom, you know, make sure all the the uh, news was off the wire, and have everything ready for the next uh, announcer. You know, get his commercials ready and queue up the real real machines and just answer all the telephone calls. <coughs> that was the fun part. Well, thank you very much, Kelly. We hope to see you sometime in the future and maybe you'll get back into the media and we'll see you on TV. Thank you. Very much. Thank you.